Okay, we ask what's the average rate of change of y with respect to t from t equals 30 to t equals 50? Well, the average rate of change is the slope of the graph between the two graph points. between the t equals 30 and t equals 50 points. Let's see now, y of 30 is what? 30 squared is 900, 0.01 times that is 9, minus 3 times 30, which is minus 90, so that's minus 81, so I think when we add that to 400, we get 319. And y of 50, 50 squared is 2,500, so that's going to give us 25. Minus 150, that's minus 125, that's going to give us 275. Meaning that we have uh, two graph points. We have a point 30, 319, the point 50, 275, and we find the slope of the line segment connecting these points, and that's going to be the rate of change. We can calculate the rise and the run. Okay, the run from 30 to 50 is 20. That's 50 minus 30. So there's our run. And our rise is 275 minus 319. And that is what? That's uh, 50 less 6, 44 minus 44. Because, of course, we see that our run, if we go in this direction, is positive. Our rise, then, is negative. To get from this point to this point, we go this way and this way. And, of course, if we just subtract, 50 minus 30 gives us 20, 275 minus 319 gives us a negative 44. So the slope is Negative 44 over 20, rise divided by run, equals negative 2.2. And now, if y is in millimeters, which it was for our model, um, for, you know, for the uh, uh, measurements that we made with the real world bottle here, and t is in seconds, slope is negative 44 millimeters divided by 20 seconds equals negative 2.2 millimeters per second. This is the rate of change that we're looking for. Now, if you just get the slope, say negative 2.2, that's okay. Unless I ask you to actually interpret it, but it's always a good idea to interpret it and say what it means. There's our rate of change. And this means that uh, on the average between 30 seconds and 50 seconds, this thing is going down at about 2.2 millimeters per second.